Hello guys, hello. My name is Melvin, aka DWADO3 Mario 7. Hi, <laughs> and today I'm gonna be showing you my game collection and I guess game collection tour, game room tour, whatever the heck you wanna call it. So let's open up this door, which leads to the room, to my room. Dun dun, dun dun, dun dun dun. It's kind of dark. <laughs> And welcome to my room. <clears throat> so, I guess what I'll do is that I'll give you first a general overview of what my room looks like currently right now. And then we'll go by, you know, uh, we'll go by individual stuffs. This might be a, a long video, I think, and this might be quite a rambly video. You know, talk about me, me talking about random stuff, so yeah. So yeah, there's the general overview, and I guess we'll yeah we'll start from like uh, like like here, and then you know all the way down to the to the glass cam, which is gonna be <coughs> excuse me the last thing I'm gonna show. So are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> so let's do this. All right. So first we can obviously see there's my la there's a laptop. You know, there's an ASUS laptop. Uh, you know, Nothing really special, this is a nice simple laptop. <clears throat> we have like a, you see a tablet there, you see an HTC One. See another phone, Sony Xperia something. Which I, this is what I, this is actually what I use for um, like texting, and calling and stuff. And it's what I use for gaming. In fact, I'll show you really quickly. There, see there. The camera would focus a little bit. <clears throat> Come on, focus. Focus. Thank you. So yeah, as you can see, you have a PlayStation, Dreamcast, and you know, a bunch of Nintendo emulators, N64, SNES, Game Boy Advance, and Game Boy Color. Yep. So, and as you can see there, in the in the edge of the bed here, oh, look here, look at this. some random stuff. Um, just some paper schedule for my you know, for school. Uh, and you you're hearing probably music right now. That's FF14, I'll show you that as well. Some earphones. And we got two games here. These are what I bought most recently in <clears throat> in uh, in Singapore. Mario Party Island Tour. Really great game. I really love the Mario Party series. It's really awesome. And here is Zelda. Uh, a Link Between Worlds, which I haven't even opened yet, but I'm definitely going to be opening this up soon. And this is some Oreo here. When anyone wants some Mario? Here, here's some Mario. Grab it right now from the screen. <laughs> and uh, here's something. This, these three things are quite interesting. This is a choco egg from a company called Furuta. And uh, yes, this is an Animal Crossing, um, uh, you know, like theme. It's Animal Crossing themed. So you know, it's, it's kind of like a Kinder egg. And you know, if you, if you know anything about the Kinder egg, you know, it's a choco egg, and then there's a toy inside. So. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You can get any one of these various characters. That's pretty cool. We have here chocolate beans, which are Mar Super Mario 3D Land. Assume uh, not Super Mario 3D Land. Super Mario 3D World themed. And it's again by Furuta. So I guess Furuta's like in Japan, like you know, they make uh, these like, like game themed stuff, game themed food. Okay, Mario, there, Luigi. Peach, uh, Neko Mario, Cat Mario, and we got oh, Koopa or Bowser. And here we have another thing, which is also by Furota, but instead of chocolate beans, this time it's well candy. And it's uh, based off of uh, Happiness, Happiness Shard Prick Prickyo, which is like an anime, I think. Looks like um, I haven't really seen what it looks like, but. I'm guessing it's like, it's like it's like a you know these are idols you know you know these have concerts and sing and all that good stuff so yep yeah those are just some <laughs> random food game food stuff which I all bought from Singapore and let's start on top here here are these two home gallery boxes are full of PS3 games let's take a look at each of them trying to balance camera here or the phone rather because it's inside it's inside the case so I'm gonna 
Let's, uh, let's take a look at this. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> okay. So we got the first case. The first case, we got some random games here. We got some Japanese games actually here. We got the uh, got got Final Fantasy 13 there. We got Sky D2, the Japanese you know, Japanese 13-2, and Lollipop Chainsaw. Yep. There it is. Yeah, as well as more games. The last good Call of Duty, in my opinion. Um, Career Chronicles, a great um, strategy RPG and prototype there. Maybe 2K11, Naruto, Fallout 3, uh, Smackdown. There is the last wrestling game that I ever bought. Never really bought WW12 and up to now. Doesn't really, it's not, I really don't like the new WWE. They don't look good, I don't know, in my opinion at least. And uh, yeah, some caliber there being at the last. So that's just the first box. First box of stuff. Oops. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I wanna. Okay. Second box, which uh, houses a little bit more of my older games. As you can tell already by NBA Live 2010 there. And um, yeah. Here's some. Here's something interesting. I have the first Modern Warfare sealed. Um, funny story. This um, uh, when uh, when we went to the states uh, at uh, what was this 2009, I think 2007. Um, I asked, I asked uh, one of the you know, like one of the friend, one of my friends there to buy me Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 because I wanted you know, to play it because it looked quite good. Um, and I guess I don't know. Maybe he mis sort sort of misinterpreted me. Maybe he was thinking like, I sh like I should get like 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 maybe he thought I wanted both of the Modern Warfare, so he got me this as well, the Game of the Year edition. Yeah, still sealed after all these years. So yeah, just something interesting. I have more sealed stuff. We'll see in the mi we'll see later on. So Let's see, yes, more Assassin's Creed too. Ah, Ubisoft, what the hell are you doing with Assassin's Creed now? You're really milking it to death. And, uh, Unity is full of glitches, massive paywalls. Yeah, not gonna buy your, gonna buy the, your, not gonna buy the recent Assassin's Creed games. That's for darn sure. And uh, here is another good old. Here's another uh, something interesting. Elder Scrolls IV: Oblivion Game of the Year Edition. This is the first ever PS3 game that I ever played. It was it was it was the game that came when someone gifted me the PlayStation 3 way back in 2007. So yeah, this is my first ever uh, game to play, and this is actually also my introduction to the Elder Scrolls series. Fantastic series. Uh, Let's see more <laughs> more more sports games, more sports games, and more sports games. Yes, I love sports games, as you can tell already. So that's the second box. Okay, put this up here as well. All right. Um, see, so we have random stuff here. <laughs> hello, say hello to Buzz Lightyear there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, sorry. Say hello to Eminem Sudoku game, and say hello to my original PS3, and say hello to the speakers as you. Yeah, as you can see, I have like speakers around my room. There's there. There and there, so yeah. But anyway, yeah, my original PS3 Fat, way back in 2007. I got this as a gift, as I said. And unfortunately, it doesn't work anymore. It's a, uh, it suffered from the yellow light of that. So sad, sad, sad. But obviously, brought me many joyous moments. So that's always cool. <laughs> okay, so now in this bottom like uh, shelf or whatever I'll call it it's like it has my all of my opened um, collector's editions limited editions um, yeah when I open my when I open when I open a collector's edition I literally open everything like everything like you know and how some people you know they leave like one or two stuff because they you know, they want to keep it as a collector's item or you know, they don't care about it well, for me, I open every single thing. In fact, really, as a prime example, 
But before I show that, I'll show you like, the Tekken Tag Tournament 2 Prestige Edition, which was only available in Asia. The Tales of Hearts R Link Edition, Tales of Hearts R was actually just released in the North American shelves, I think, a couple of days ago, weeks ago. That's cool. Final Fantasy 13 2 Collector's Edition, Mugen Souls Limited Edition, Dead or Alive 5 Collector's Edition, Final Fantasy 14, which is the game that's currently there. I just, this is an awesome game, totally recommend it. Terraria, this is an interesting one, doesn't really come with like a CD at all, it doesn't come with like a case, it comes with a, instead comes with like a download code. Let's see if I can show you. Let me just open this up a little bit, yeah, there, see? There is just a card to download, and has a code on the back to download it. And has Blaze Blue there, you got Tales of Graces F, uh, Brave Blue Default, wonderful, wonderful game. Definitely, you know, it's Final Fantasy, <laughs> classic Final Fantasy. We have Artanaya Kokoga, Nether of Arcea. Whoops, one sec. So, okay, welcome back. So sorry, that was just the intercom there. My mother, my mother was calling me. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> some food in some food in 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 her bedroom. Anyway. Um, <clears throat> We have here another interesting. This is Macross Frontier, uh, Macross Last Frontier specifically. This is the hybrid pack. Contains the um, ah, the wrong way. Here we go. Contains like a Blu-ray, which contains both the game, both the game, and the uh, movie. So that's pretty. And uh, like a little like book, which showcases like you know. Like, like a little bit of history, I guess, of the map, which is pretty awesome. And yes, this is actually open, even though it's still in plastic. You can tell, but it's already all been open. So, here's some Final Fantasy 14 game, game time credits. I really love the game, and you can see it there. Soul Calibur 5, and some random pins here, and a map, and a poster, which I all got for free. So, so anyway, as, as I was saying a while ago, um, I open all of my limited issues like everything inside it so here's an ex great example here's Mugen Souls I'll show you this so there we go you see you notice the sponge and the towel which is included with the game yes I have have op I have had opened these I really, really didn't open this you can tell by the plastic actually then yes. oops <coughs> I already I did open this yes including the sponge and grab that. Gotta be careful here. Come on, sponge. Yep, sponge. Yes, these two have been opened. I've opened this obviously they're in plastic right now, but I have I, when I first uh, you know opened this up I also I <laughs> I also open opened this up, which is very rare I think. Um uh, pretty sure most of the time ninety nine percent of the people who bought this limited edition Probably just kept it, you know, kept it in the plastic. Well, for me, I decided to open it. Because <laughs> why not, right? So, yeah, it's just an example. I open it, I open everything in the limited edition when I do open it. So, there we go. And so, a bunch of random boxes here. More random boxes. And on this top shelf, this is, um, yeah, random stuff. Mostly some statues. I did open one of the eggs. I got him. I don't know the name, but. He looks very awesome. He looks cool. Looks awesome. See some book, just some random magazine, random magazine, random book, random Jordan book, and a Skyrim game guide. Here is Black Widow by Kodavuki, yeah, Pretty cool. Here we have uh, what's her name again? Miko Saim Saim Yuzi. Uh, don't know much. Don't know actually about that anime, um, but. It was a very cheap figurine actually. It has 500 pesos, so why not? Here's Ariel, which I don't know. Like, is she the girl from No Game No Life? Actually, I don't think so. She kind of looks like her. I don't know. I might have my car my anime characters mixed up. Here's Saber, and there is Hatsune Miku. <laughs> so yeah, and more random boxes here. Some Garfield magazines and not magazines. Garfield Comics, rather. Here's the magazines. These are K Zone magazines, and K Zone is basically a kids' magazine here uh, in Phil in the Philippines. It's uh, the most popular ki kids' magazine out there. 
tubes. So yeah. And on this uh, on this shelf we just have Skylanders uh, Spires Adventure game, some random chargers for like the PS Vita and stuff. Um, here are some Mega Man figurines. So little, these are quite dirty. They're actually quite dirty right now. Quite I might have to clean that up later. But yeah, these are based off of the classic Mega Man. So that's pretty awesome. It has Mega Man there. Um, I think that's um let's see. Mm, I don't mm, forget I forgot. Um, I think that's um wait wait, no, let's take a look at it. That's um oh it's a cutter man. That's pretty cool. It's uh, really hard to try to juggle these around, isn't it? Oh crud. I like man cutter man. Wow, I am so sorry to all Mega Man fans alive today. I'm really sorry. I like man. <coughs> Fear should feel shame of that. But anyway, yep. And two more figurines there, which is there. So yep. And let's go down here. <coughs> and uh, here's the TV that I used to play games. It's a Samsung 20, 25.5 inches uh, screen. And uh, yeah, you know, served me a couple of years, pretty good. Uh, you can see my PS3 there, my current PS3. It's PS3 Slim. Yes, yeah, so I was playing Final Fantasy XIV. Um, yeah. And if you wanna. If you wanna add me, um, I'm at server Cactuar, and my name is Claire Mason. In there, so yeah, if you wanna check it out? Check out the game, and if you wanna let's play sometime, sure, why not? And here, let's take a look. Now let's take a look at this part, which is the headboard here. As you can see, I have handhelds here. I have my original 3DS. Uh, I love, I love the 3DS, man. I, I bought this like. I think I bought it like like a month or like month or two months after it was, orig was uh, originally released and um, I always remember during that time that man people were already calling the 3DS dead and all that stuff it's like a dead console well now freaking out one an amazing console <laughs> and we have my 3DS and my 3DS XL oh, someone just contacted me sorry I'm back that's okay I'll Send a message in a minute. Um, it's my PS Vita. Love the PS Vita. I really love. See, I really love both of them. I, mean, I prefer the 3DS a little bit more, but yeah, PS Vita is actually, as I said, I prefer the 3DS a lot more. <laughs> but the PS Vita is still awesome. So here we have um, some games, uh, random games here: Naruto, Ninja Gaiden, Dynasty Warriors, Anarchy, Grand Theft Auto 5, more random games, Uncharted. Sword here. Let me just so you can see it there, and you can see it there as well. Okay, here we have on top of the Borderlands Ultimate Loot Chest Limited Edition. And that box is humongous. Um, there's more games here. Is like, yeah, actually, it's like in Tag, Soul Calibur, and here. It's actually like JRPGs <laughs> or RPGs at least. Um, it's not focusing that well. Sorry for that, but there we go. Just focus a little bit more. Yep. Playing currently playing Eternal Sadada. Awesome. I see why that game was so definitely raved upon, you know, way back in 2008 or 2007, I believe. Let me check the year. Um, let's say in the year. Um, yeah, 2007, 2008 ish. See it there. I heard the full this camera is not really. There we go. 2007 2008. So here we have Max Payne 3 Special Edition and Uncharted 3 uh, the Collector's Edition. And here's some PS, um, uh, PS3 headset, which is really good. It's very cheap. Also very cheap as well. So yeah. Um, and yes, these three are open. You should will see more of that. Actually, almost right now, but not quite yet. Let's go to this now, to the main event, I guess. <clears throat> Going to the glass cabinet, but first, say hello to Mickey with a whale on top of it. <coughs> yeah, <laughs> this was from, I think, SeaWorld. I think so. Uh, let me see. 
There's no markings anywhere. But I think, yeah, it's from Zebra. I think it's Shamu, actually. There's Mickey. Hi. Hello. Oh, man, I can't do a Mickey voice. I suck. <laughs> yeah, I was saying hello there, though. Um, yeah, and... Say hello to the hats. Yes, hello. Hello, yes, I'm a Heat fan, obviously. There's LeBron James, so, you know. LeBron James did a lot of stuff for us, so... Gotta be thankful for him. More random hats. Yeah, just more random hats, basically. Um, yeah. I have here something that might interest football fans. Because I'm also a big soccer fan, football fan. Uh, to a Bayern Munich scarf, which I've always wanted a scarf. One of, I was I was wanted a scarf and finally got one by Munich, so pretty cool. Hoping to get like a you know our local football, our national team here, the Ascos, a Liverpool one, and a bunch of other scarves. So here's another my heat thing, <laughs> you can tell. And uh, let's go now to the glass cabin. Let me just say hello to the electric fan. And just yeah, so there we go. All right, so we go top top to bottom so on the top we have here a bunch of random figurines and a bunch more Pokemon uh, more Pokemon stuff um, Pokemon's my favorite series of all time um, it's it's just the best I mean it's my favorite I've started I started playing Pokemon and I was five years old when I got it as when I got a Game Boy Color as my birthday gift and it came with like action like one of those like um, uh, what was that? Uh, came with it came in like with like a like you know those thirty two in one cartridges, um, and it had Pokemon. It had Pokemon Red, Blue, and Green as the um, uh, as the first as the you know as the, uh, as, one, as the games and was what it was one of those. It was the um, bleh, can't speak. It, it was one of those games that were included in that. And oh man, start play. I played Pokemon Red and oh man. Ever since then, still playing Pokemon. <laughs> Probably play Pokemon till I'm very old. <laughs> um, hopefully, you can see my face again. I'm really bad at camera shots. Okay. So anyway, here is the glass. Uh, so it's open as well. This contains random. With some figurines. Uh, here is a. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Here is a uh, Mirai Suenaga from Coast Japan by this, like a show by Danny Chu. So, Ush, it's like a website as well, so very big there, also if you know, Danny Chu, very popular guy. And on the back of that, we have Lightning, Final Fantasy XIII, I really love the Final Fantasy XIII series. It's definitely, of course, has a pretty, pretty negative, um, like, you know, ja negative, like, uh, no look that people have when it comes to Final Fantasy XIII. It's a totally understandable, totally understandable, but I look, I like it. Here we have a Queen's Blade, one of Irie. Uh, Queen's Blade's like a, it's like a, I know it's like a, I think it's like a fighting game. And I know it's like an anime I think as well, a manga as well, I think so. I know there's games for that for the PSV for sure. Um, the back of that, we have Rukia, uh, Kuchiki Rukia from Bleach. And we have uh, Kyrie there from Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, Okay, let me just put those figurines back. Oh, and it looks like you can hear a little bit of the thunder. That is, uh, okay. So the other side, as you can see we have, so we have, uh, Del Fox here. Uh, we have Chimchar, we have Espeon, and we have, uh, oh dear, um, I forget the name. But um, let me see what is the uh, Japanese name at least that I know. Um, hmm, forget your name. Mel Meloetta, I believe you're Meloetta. Please tell me you're Meloetta. Oh gosh, I might have gotten it wrong. I'm so sorry again. Oh well. <laughs> I make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, anyway, here we have a cloud. Um, Cloud uh, Trading Arts mini figurine, and on like there's you can see Yuffie Kisaragi's face there. That's this is this figure. This figure is based off of Advent Children. Here we have my box of the 3DS XL, a Pikachu one. 
Um, here we have, whoop, that's gonna fall. This is Advance Wars. Um, it's like a, it's like a, one of those games, like it uses, see here, it's like it uses, um, these. So, it's like a, you, like, I think it like, like, throw them and stuff, uh, something like that. I'm not really sure about how the game exactly works. But, uh, yeah. So, here we have a trading card, one of the Zoroark, like, uh, Zoroark Illusions collection. And, um, yeah. I love the trading card game. I, I really love. I, I started liking it when it came out for the Game Boy Color, the Game Boy. Um, oh man, I really love it. I can also play it. You know the, the actual one. Your life, if I want, but <laughs> I have no one else to play with. Though it sucks. And I think on the back of that, oh, this might get a little bit messy. Oh, there is two figmas. There's Yui Rosawa from K On and. There is um, Kirino Kusaka from uh, My Little Sister Can Be This Cute. Oh crud. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, let's not try crushing any boxes today. Nor try and destroy any boxes today. Of course, I don't think that's. I don't think anyone wants to do that. Um, everything. Yeah, okay, that's good. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so. Let's put everything back in order. Um, yeah, so yeah, basically that's the first, that's the top shelf. Um, okay, there we go. Is there now? Hopefully, um, back in their place. Actually, there are. Okay. Now this second one, this is basically sort of like a little bit of a up oh, training now. Anyway, it's not gonna stop you from making this video. <laughs> anyway. Um, here we have the second, which is random, random, random stuff, um, but it has some of my collection editions. Here's another figurine of Kanari Mari from, uh, what's this, Evangelion, uh, that's awesome, it's an awesome figure there, it's unopened, it's unopened. Um, here we have Fallout 3, the collector's edition, um, uh, here we have FIFA Street, Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. The uh, special edition, just re just where it comes with like a steel book and uh, some ba some badges and some DLC. And again, um, these are all unopened. Keep in mind that all the limited editions here are unopened. So yeah, because that's you know that's, I guess that, that's my hobby. So <laughs> Resident Evil Five uh, limited edition. This is the Asian limited edition. This comes with a. Uh, so you can't see that well because it's actually quite. Um, there you might see it, uh, might see it. It's actually quite, it's quite uh, dark. The, t the text is quite dark, so it contains um, contains like a B making of behind the scenes Blu-ray, and it comes with a two gigabyte USB, which looks like a chainsaw. So <laughs> Dragon Age Origins Collector's Edition. This is a pretty rare one. I don't see this. I don't see as much. I only see like one or two videos of it in in um. You know, in, in YouTube, and as well as this, I don't see that much. Yeah, it seems it comes with a nice wooden box. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. I really like. I do. I I I, gen I generally like the Dragon Age um, games, even though obviously that logo there is well, you know, really is not really a great organization now. Like now, obviously before they were awesome, but now they're kind of not. I mean, but I mean, I, I I like I like you know to be honest, I like, I I do like some of EA's games. I do like, I did I did I did like I do like some of EA's games just as that well, you know, their practices and stuff. But anyway, here we have X Blades Royal Edition. This is an interesting find for me because um I because okay, so I buy all well, I mostly buy most most of my limited editions at the site called New Haven PH, which is like, you know, which is an, you know, a, uh, you know, which is a, a gaming store, which, you know, uh, that's in, that, you know, specializes in, you know, yeah. uh, selling, buying PS3 games and all that stuff, mainly their PS3, they have some 3DS and some, yeah, and they also focus on, like, figure eight and stuff, but anyway, um, they have their own website, obviously www.newhavenph.com, and um, 
they um you know they you know they they list their like you know they list their collector's editions limited editions their games new games used games and all that stuff um so but it wasn't this wasn't this, i got them from there but the thing is it wasn't listed on their site it was listed on on another on like another um on another page like a different website and this was apparently used um but i will show you see if i can actually show it this might be a little hard so i think no actually i think okay i'll, I'll grab that in a second but let's take a look at some of their stuff here first before i get that i attempt to get that at least here we have the trilogy as i said i do like the final Fantasy 13 series we have the first game the game of the year one here we have the second the collector's edition and we have the lightning returns collector's edition this is uh this, this yeah uh, yes and i have an extra copy of this i got this one off of um was that uh there so, uh what's that called um that tag there let me see if it's no i forgot i sorry i forgot the name of the the store now but if anyone recognizes that tag there then yeah and this one was on the square next turn this was one this is one one of the many i bought from new haven so here we have some like Japanese albums, Japanese stuff. Um, some yeah, Scandal. Uh, what's this? Uh, yeah, uh, AKB48, all that stuff. Um, and yeah, so okay, I'll show you this. Let's see if I can grab it. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let me just move, move these games first so that I can show you. Okay, let's just show you. That although it's in the in that page that it was used, it wasn't actually. It's still brand new. You know the box is a little bit. Oh, let me just put this now. Sorry about that. Okay, as you can see, though again, as I said, the box is a little bit beat, a little bit beat up, a little bit old. Um, it's not used. As you can see, you might think this. You might think it's. You can actually just open it right now, but no. This is actually a sticker. Um, it's actually a sticker which. Um, yeah, goes up to the um, front. So yeah, this is a sticker. So clear show that it hasn't been opened yet. Even the um, the back of it, as you there, you might see it that there. There's like tape there. It's like it's still tape there. So yeah, this is. So yeah, this is uh, still unopened. So that's pretty awesome. I apparently got it. it was a used copy. Turns out it wasn't. You know what? Oh, one sec. Let me just put down the phone because I don't want to mess this up. <laughs> I don't want to break anything, as I said. Sorry if I'm putting you guys in the dark. I'm really sorry. Let me just. Okay. Here. Don't worry. Your your time in the darkest is nearly over. Don't worry. Don't worry, guys. I'm nearly back. And I am now back. There we go. All right. And now the third one. Yes. Let's go. Yes, some Miami Heat stuff. I did watch a game there, 2009. Uh, I guess the Utah Jazz, in fact. I'll show you the ticket stub. And I, and I got that. So I got that bear from the... Here it is. Yeah. So yeah, so it's kind of... It's like that. It's, it's a, the color's a little bit... um Like brown, because like laminating tickets apparently is not a good idea. So that sucks, but... Yeah, as you can see there, here that's my ticket stub. And uh, yeah, from, you know, some figures from there, from McFarlane Toys, I believe. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Of course, I've been a Heat fan since 2003, so, yeah. And now we're going to here. Stuff, here we have, um, uh, some, ma some Pokemon manga there. We have, um, here's something very interesting. This is a, so you can see, yeah, the sticker is, yeah, pretty much in there, you can see the both front and back stickers are there, and the cartridge itself is rusty, like the contacts are rusty, but this is, I think we can obviously tell, but this is Super Mario 64, um, <laughs> this is, I got this, like, when, when we went, when me and my family went to a hotel, at um at, at Subic and um so 
so yeah I'm and I was uh, what was what happened was uh, what happened was I decided to go to the um like their play area little play area and I say I noticed like on the uh, like on the like the TV like the cabinet the the TV is standing on like a like a like glass like on a glass cabinet or something like and um, I saw and there was like a bunch of random stuff and I decided to rum short and I found this this was the exact copy that I played when I was like five or six years old so very interesting so yeah it was obviously for free because it was just basically junk there which is really a shame like I saw like PS1 so like some I saw the Nintendo 64 oh man but I wouldn't have gotten them all on this but well, we have yeah so here it's a little bit dark here we have a steel book of Dead Island Riptide. I like the Dead Island series, it's pretty cool, pretty fun. Black Rock Shores, like postcards, um, Taco 2, sticker collection of Diamond and Pearl, uh, official Black and po Black, official Pokemon Black and Pokemon White guide, volume 2. I'm looking for volume 1 actually as well. We have Black version 2, White version 2, collection edition guide, the strategy guide. Of the of the the strategy guide for Final Fantasy Thirteen to of Collector's Edition and the this is the strategy guide for Final Fantasy Lightning Returns and this is uh, this Gaia art pretty cool book for you know, if you're really a really big fan of this guy it has a lot of great artwork in there so and we're going up to some my 3DS games so yeah as I said I I really love the 3DS I really prefer it over the PS Vita. And uh, this is actually um, chronologically arranged. So yeah, so yeah, Street Fighter 4 was Super Street Fighter 4 was my first game for the system. And yes, you can see it just goes there and there, and there, and there. So yeah, excellent, excellent wider. Love that. Love those. I see. Um, uh, I'm 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 holding off of getting Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. I'm gonna get that obviously eventually. And so you can see these just stack up. Here's we just mentioned and Project Cross Zone. Awesome. Um, and here we have my DS games, and you might notice, yeah, all mostly all Pokemon except for Shin Megami Tensei there and Final Fantasy three. <laughs> and here is some here's something quite interesting. Something with really cool. Um. Here we have Pokemon Black 2, version 2, but yes, the German one, Schwartz 2, it's pretty cool. Got this when my brother went to Frankfurt, so that's pretty awesome. Zwei Macht, version 6, Ein Newt Legend, Eins Enstedt. Yeah, probably said that wrong, sorry. And, oh, there's a random PS3 game here. Oh, Hyper Dimension Between and 1 and 2. I'll just leave it there for, for now. And my uh, PS Vita games, so yeah, as you can see, pretty cool, PS Vita has a lot of great games, unfortunately I think like, at this point, um, I think Sony has almost given up on the PS Vita in a way, in a way, I don't really see much advertising for this and all that stuff anymore, so that's really quite disappointing, um, but yeah, like, actually, like the 3DS games, the DS games and the PS Vita games are chronological range, so, you know, it was my first DS game I bought, and what was my first PS Vita game? Charter being the case here, and Soul Silver being the case here. So, yeah. And now we're going to the to the final final part. And yes, this is my limited collector's special. This is what I this is what I love. You can actually see me in the camera. Hello, hi, hi. Um. So yeah, as you can see, yeah, this is. This is my hobby. This is what I really love to do. It's pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at them. At least some of them. Here we have hybrid. We have here actually. Up, cut it off up to. Uh, right. So that I can show it to you. Uh, this this part from hyper dimension between the Mark II up to this this this. This is all NIS America limited edition from all all of uh, all of them from their web store. Um, 
And this is this is one of the advantages that New Haven, I think, has um, um, like over you know other probably websites that are that have probably offer similar services here in the Philippines. The fact they do this, they 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 grab these like limited editions from like America and all, all so particularly like NIS America stuff, and I love it, man. Um, yeah, this is really what jump started me starting to collect these. So yeah. I really have to thank them for doing that. And it might seem like I am advertising them in a way. It's like I'm sort of like a little bit. I'm not really. Just this, this my honest thoughts on them. So, anyway. <laughs> so, let's take a look at them. I have Hyper Dimension Latunia Mar 2 Game Industry Saber Set. Special edition. Uh, yeah, special limited edition. We have Atelier Mirror with the Princess of Ireland Grand Finale Set. We have Mugen Souls. Uh, Mugen Souls Limited Edition with the figures. Happy to mention the Tuna Victory uh, Limited Edition. Yes, it's the tin. Like Fallout 3 there. We have Time and Uncertainty with like uh, comes with like the like, it, all all limited editions came with the poster. Oh man, the rain's really getting hard. Um, yeah, this game that game is interesting. Um, really was quite critically panned <laughs> and received quite negative reviews, but. I pl I I um I saw like I saw um, I saw I, I mean but I watched the game footage and it looked awesome so yeah and um I, okay I guess since we're on the topic here anyway um all these limited editions are obviously unopened because as I said as I said my hobby but all of these limited editions I love the games for at least I have interest in the games for I love you know I have I just uh, I just don't collect any other looks into the edition so that's why you won't see me buying like Call of Duty or you know, Assassin's Creed you know the new ones because those don't interest me at all um, yeah and also I limit myself to PS3 and 3DS and PS Vita so you know you won't see me buying PS uh, Xbox game Xbox 360 or even you know like Wii stuff because you know the consoles, the consoles that I have basically that's what I buy them for so anyway so I told that you know that that's that's what sort of like my mind is when I you know that's what I sort of like my mindset is. So anyway, we have this guy D2, we have the guy that fake paradox, we have the witch in the hundred nine, that's actually quite dark. I can't even see that. Let me let me just open that up a little bit more. Yeah, there you go, witch in the hundred nine with the figure. Um this is Duncan Rapa too. Um all these boxes are in really very good condition. This is probably the most beat up one though. Uh, so I'll show you here in a sec. Yes, yeah, you can see it's it's, it's uh, quite um yeah, you can see the it's kinda like I don't know if how well it gets here but as you can see it's like kinda got crushed a little bit. Um so yeah, kinda sucks but it's still in good condition. I mean, for me, wise, I'm I'm not one of those collectors that are too picky when it comes to condition. I mean, obviously, when I see the box is really quite crushed up, then obviously I wouldn't buy it. But you know, I don't know. Like it depends. But, but I don't know. Like sometimes, you know, I I don't mind if it's actually a, a little quite a little quite damaged. Not quite damaged, but kind of banged up. But not not really like I'll sh uh, like it's like quite um quite you know it's quite it's quite like damaged I guess in a way but you know I would still it's still I think for me I would definitely buy it still in fact I'll show you something I'll show you an example here later two examples I think later um the bottom case here and uh, here we have honor surge auto on the board so this is really this is the latest one I got it's very interesting because this game the game um wasn't even really like published but it wasn't really even made by NS America it's made by well it's made by Gus and published by Tecmo Koei technically so technically this is a Tecmo Koei game so that's very interesting that uh, NIS America managed to get the rights to make the damage so that's pretty cool and here we go some Japanese stuff exception that uh, exception uh, that last one but here we have Fairy Fencer F limited edition this is the Japanese edition and I'll tell you a little bit of a story about this as well. Um, so as you can see there, they're sitting, and it comes with the visual book. This is 
uh, this is what this is um this is what you would also get if you pre-order the game. Now I bought this from when we went to Hong Kong. My family and I went to Hong Kong, and the thing is really, yeah, I, I got this game, but it was I I didn't I did not pre-order it. Yeah, I just got got it what it was just like this. So that's very interesting, really. I, I got the pre-order bonus even though I did not pre-order it. That's, so that's pretty cool. Okay, this game is pretty awesome. Um, did play the demo of this. Um, and I, it's very awesome, very cool. Uh, apparently there's already a new one coming out for the PS4. Uh, so, I mean, I'd rather get a Wii U, obviously. I mean, I'd rather get a Wii U first, but... And at some point I might have to get a PS4 as well, but that's probably way in the future. Here is the Witch in the Hundred Night, the, um... Uh... Yeah, the limited edition, the Japanese one. So yeah, I have both American and Japanese. It basically there's... Well, there's some... Uh, actually, not thinking about it. Is there any differences between? Well, okay. Um, I think the difference between yeah, the difference between these two, they have both the same contents, but the art book here is way bigger than here. Um, and they both they have like they have like um, I think also the art book is slightly different to the um, uh, American one, and also I think. This, um, yeah, the um, the like the CDs, like the soundtrack CD, like the cover of the soundtrack CD, and the CD art itself is different from the one in America. But other than they're completely the same, uh, completely the same limited edition. Uh, here is Tales of Symphonia, Unisonic Pack, Unisonic Pack, collector's edition, limited edition, and um, yes, yeah, it's. Um, it has it has um, has a uh, has uh, he has a he has a novel and a, like and a like a, not really a novel I think I don't know if it's novel is correct but I'll just call it a novel just it's just because I can't think of another word for it but and it comes with like that big box five figurine so that's pretty awesome uh, I would love to get like the American one just oh man so awesome but that's so, it's quite limited it's like 12,000 15,000 pieces. That's very expensive, so... Oh, well, that's okay. I will get, probably get that eventually. Never know. I mean, I'll be honest with you guys. <laughs> My face again. Um, I never really thought I would get this stuff.